What's up? Welcome back to Mina's Daily Dose. My name is Mina, and thank you for joining me today. <laughs> What's up? Welcome back to Mina's Daily Dose. My name is Mina, and thank you for joining me today. If you are new here, thank you for clicking on this video. If you are a part of the fam, hello. How are you? Thank you for your continued support. So today, I wanted to come on here, and I wanted to talk all about my iPhone X iPhone XS Max. Now, I've had my phone for... How long have I had my phone? I'll link a video up here to a vlog where I actually went and purchased my iPhone XS Max. Make sure you check it out because there's like a really cool unboxing of it all in Best Buy and I absolutely love it. And it pretty much still looks the same. But yeah, so I just wanna talk a little bit about my phone. And I know it's been some time since it's been out, but at the same time, not everybody got this phone, first of all, okay? And second of all, I just wanted to share my experience and maybe there's somebody out here you know, who want to watch it. So I feel like every time I'm in this hoodie, I'm like coming to do like some type of serious sit down and talk about something, okay? As I mentioned, I do have a iPhone XS Max. I got it in the gold color, and I will take it out of my case, but it's a little bit different. I do have it in the gold color, which you can see. I absolutely love this color. It is everything, okay? Now, before I purchased my iPhone XS Max, I did have the iPhone 6 in 2018. I got to a point in my life, and I feel like everybody gets to this point where you're older. I'm 28, but when you're just growing up and you're maturing, and you're like, why do I keep buying all these phones? Why do I keep buying the new iPhone? Like, what's different? What is so different about this iPhone? And I really do feel like a lot, that's why a lot of people don't have this phone, because a lot of people went out and got the iPhone X. The only reason why I got the iPhone XS Max is because my phone just <laughs> went out of commission, honey, okay? It was done, it was over, I cracked the screen, okay? I was having issues anyway, Sometimes, like when I touch the screen, it wouldn't do anything. It was just very difficult to operate and it was just done. But let's jump right into it. I am going to just talk about the things that I love about the phone in general. Now, when I first was looking into getting the iPhone XS Max, I didn't know if I should just get the iPhone XS or if I should get the Max version. Because I do have pretty small hands, okay? They are pretty small. That's one reason why I was kind of hesitant in getting the Max because I was like, uh, it may not be good for me with my small hands. You know, it may drop, it may slip, it may fall. In the beginning of the video, you did see that it did slip out my hand. That's going to happen if you have little bitty, tiny little hands. But it's very user friendly if you have a baby hand. This is a comparison right now to the phone in my hand. So it fits in my hand very well but you know it is what it is some issues with the size is if i am holding my phone like this okay if i'm looking at my phone like this and i need to go up to the top of the screen sometimes that's a little bit difficult but we all know that iphones have all types of tricks where you can actually pull the screen down and actually get to wherever you're trying to reach at the top so if you are an iphone user you already know about how to make all that work okay but if you're not an iphone user you can do that with your phone you can pull it down and just make it more easy for you to reach things that are further at the top of your cellular device another thing i like about the phone is that i love the screen that's one huge upgrade on the iphone xs max is well, I think the I, I think the 10 is the same, but the iPhone XS Max has a larger screen, and I'll put the dimensions up here on the screen so that you can know exactly the dimensions of the screen. But yeah, it's a bigger screen, which I absolutely love, and I'm just gonna give you guys a close up here, right here. So I definitely love that about the phone. Another thing that I love about the phone is just how crisp it is. I mean, even looking at this screensaver right here, 
look at how just beautiful the graphics are. I mean, it's just so clear, and honey, I just love it, okay? Another thing is that the phone is very, very quick, okay? Coming from an iPhone 6, Obviously, I'm going to see some type of improvement when it comes to the actual speed of the iPhone. And it's definitely quicker. I can open my apps quicker. I mean, just going through, I can just click on something, you know what I'm saying? Click on my little app, my app gonna pop open. And I also think that one thing that was also a little bit nerve wracking for me before I transitioned into the iPhones that don't have the button at the bottom is I thought it was going to be a little bit difficult to use, you know? I was like, how am I gonna slide? Like, how am I gonna slide and swipe and all that kind of stuff? But let me tell you something, it is so easy to transition and I didn't have to read any guide or reviews or watch any YouTube videos on how to swipe and maneuver on these new iPhones that don't have the button, okay? So if you are a little bit worried about that, do not worry about not having a button. It is going to be perfectly fine. If you are going to get the newer version, which is the iPhone XS, XR, then you need to know one of the greatest qualities is the durability. I do not suggest doing this. I don't suggest just going around and dropping your phone. But right now I have a Kate Spades case on here. So it's just a rubber protective case. Nothing crazy, it's not an auto box or anything like that. And you guys, I've dropped this phone, nothing has happened. I mean, I've had my phone for some time now and it still looks brand new. Like, look at that screen. Like, oh my goodness. I mean, it's so durable. And I do have a couple of scratches on my screen and I, I, I have a really deep scratch like right here and I don't even know if you can see it but the, I don't even know if you can see it, but the screen will scratch, but not easily. Like you really have to dig deep out. I don't even know how I got a scratch on my screen. Like, honestly, I don't know how it happened. But it's very, very durable, and I absolutely love that about the phone. Another awesome thing about the iPhone XS Max that I did not see in my iPhone 6, and you may not see in your iPhone 8 or, anything less than that is the battery life. The battery life is amazing. I am a person who do use their phone. I am on Instagram and I text and do that kind of stuff all day long. I only have to charge my battery once a day and that's usually at nighttime. But I mean, overall, the battery life is so good. It charges quickly and it also holds the charge very, very well. And if you are on your phone and you love using your phone and say you're a business owner or you just love social media and you just have to be accessible via cell phone, then you definitely should get the phone because it is so durable in that way. One thing that I don't like about the, the phone is you don't have the headphone jack. They did go to more of the lightning jack here for your headphones, so that's fine. But I'm to a, a place where I don't like cords in my way. And I will link my video up here. I did a review on my Apple AirPods. So you can kind of get a good idea of how Apple AirPods work with the iPhone XS Max. But yeah, so I have Apple AirPods right now and I absolutely love it with my phone. And it's just great, it's a great pairing. And yeah, so overall the phone is going to be quick, the phone is going to be durable, the phone is going to really help you be more efficient and effective on your phone. But I feel like I'm not going to have to get another phone unless this one breaks or something. Because I mean, what, what's the point? It's beautiful, it's large, it's highly tech savvy, and it's like, what else am I going to need? So I feel as if, if you are looking to get a new phone and make an investment in your phone, I think this is a really good way to go if you are looking into the iPhone. Some people who are who have Androids are looking into getting an iPhone, then I definitely would suggest the phone. And me personally, back in the day, I used to go back and forth in between an iPhone and an Android phone. And the iPhone won. Okay, 
the iPhone 1, I ultimately loved and just continuously enjoyed the iPhone. Just thank you for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And also, if you would like, go ahead and join the MDD family. If you don't want to join the MDD family right now, that's okay. At least you watch this video. And hopefully, I made you laugh or I made you smile and possibly gave you some good tips about the iPhone XS Max. Hopefully. And also, don't forget, it's not a game.